YouTubers. Lone Wolf Customs here. Junkyard Charger. Let me show you the beginning of this. And then we'll get into some more fun shit. Oh. <sighs> All right. I got the interior. Put the rest of the way back together. All but this stuff here. Which... I added this, which I'll show you here in a second why, but it runs up to here, gives me a hookup. So that's where we're sitting at this exact moment. And what else have I done? Have I done anything extra that's interesting before we get into this? Not really. Kind of move some stuff around, set some stuff in. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Back in a sec. Hey, Lone Wolf Customs here. Hit that uh, like button down there if you enjoy the video. And uh, if you're new to this channel, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button too. Um, helps me keep putting out good content for everybody. Um, Thanks. All right. I got my MSD Hemi 6 uh, computer. And now I've got to make this fit this by mounting it to this. So, you know, this is really more specialized to y'all, but what y'all end up doing exactly with yours and where you locate it and everything. But basically, the molding holes, I'm going to locate them on the plate, and I'm going to use a small drill bit, and then I'm going to put the screws in, and that much is there. And that's back a sec. All right, got it attached to the plate, which of course, you know, is a rough thing to do because considering the plate's not flat and there's stuff underneath there and all that stuff, I think this will work right here. Might have to change it. If I do, then well, I'll change it. Uh, I guess let's see about putting it in here. All right, now I gotta hook the serial there and plug the plug in there. Of course, I'm gonna take this bolt out, and then I guess I'll just go ahead and stick this plate up there, if everything fits, and then I'll be back to you. All right, it's in, and it was on this side. I had to move it over here, because it was hitting a little bar down there, so I moved it over here. Of course, I got some zip tying and whatnot to do. Um, USB cable, it's actually a little on the short side, but, uh, I think I can plug it in to the laptop and find out if this thing has program on it or not, I don't know. The paperwork came with it, really doesn't say, it tells you to go to the website and download all that stuff, so, uh, <clears throat> oh, Go to the website. It comes with a CD, teeny tiny little CD, but my uh, thing don't have a CD thing. So let me uh, hook this thing into the laptop and see what it says, you know, scan it and whatnot, and uh, be back then. All right. Um, it came with uh, already bass tuned, so it's got a bass tune for me to start with, because all I did was go from, you know, pull the tune from the little brain. Now, of course, you know, this is their little software, so basically what this all boils down to, for anyone that's wanting to know, 
this is like a mechanical distributor setting you set it by rpm and it pretty much will follow that no matter what this up here kind of focuses as a vacuum advance on a regular old style distributor down here it tells you your rpms and your um, yeah distributor settings type stuff and your freaking um, map and then you got all sorts of different stuff in here that you can mess with and notes that you can put and all that of course you can click on the you know make it bigger and make it bigger so you can follow it and all that stuff so <clears throat> um i'm going to finish buttoning up some of the interior components and i guess when here in a sec i'll we'll see what happens when i hit the key all right, folks, let's uh, see if uh, this old girl can uh, spring to life. Okay. All right, folks, here we go. Got the gauge cluster and all my shit. Key. There. smoky from the oil but you the gauge anyways thanks for watching subscribe bye okay. <laughs>